click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the numerical based on the binding energy and the mass defect problem number one and now here basically we are going to talk about uh, the problem number two based on that is binding energy and the mass defect. So let us see what is the question and let's see how we can solve it. So friends, this is the question that has been given to us and that is we have to calculate the mean binding energy per nucleon for the formation of this oxygen nucleus having an atomic number of 8 and atomic mass number of 16. The mass of the oxygen atom is found to be 15.994 unit or unified mass. The mass of the hydrogen atom and the mass of the neutron are found to be 1.0078 unit and 1.0087 unit respectively. So for that we have to calculate the binding energy per nucleon but before that we should know how to calculate the mass defect that is delta m and from that we can easily find out that is what is the binding energy and based on that let us understand how we can solve it and how we can calculate the binding energy per nucleon. So for that we should know the data which has been given in this question so for that let us extract the data from the above question. So the above question is regarding the oxygen nucleus and the oxygen nucleus in this case it has an atomic number that is Z as 8. Atomic mass number it is found to be 16 and regarding that we have also got to know that is the mass which has been calculated and which has been found to be that is 15.994 unified mass and the other details which is also been present over here that is for the mass of the hydrogen and the mass of the neutron for that we have the mass of the hydrogen as 1.0078 unified mass or unit and for night and for the mass of the neutron we have 1.0087 unified mass so for that this all are the details which has been given and let us see how we can calculate the delta m that is the mass defect so for that we have the formula for the mass defect and that is delta m is equals to z into mass of the hydrogen plus a minus z mass of neutron minus m that is nothing but the observed mass of the particular atom so in that case suppose we have to calculate this mass defect for the oxygen atom and for that we know that is the value of z that is the atomic number which is found to be 8 so I'm writing it here as 8 into the mass of the hydrogen which has been found to be 1.0078 unified mass plus the atomic mass number it has been found to be 16 and the atomic number it is found to be 8 so 16 minus 8 into the mass of the neutron in this case it has been given as 1.0087 unified mass while talking about the mass of the oxygen atom which has been observed it has been found to be 15.994 unified mass so therefore so whatever the value that we will calculate it will have a unit of u or we could also call it as unified mass that is atomic mass unit amu so now let us see that is what is the value we could get here so here the mass defect that is what we have got here is 0 0.138 unit and based on this we can easily calculate the binding energy but the binding energy that is the formula that we have is be into delta m into 931.4 because the binding energy has a unit of MEV that is million electron volt so that's the reason that we can substitute the values of the delta m that is the mass defect here that is found to be 0 0.138 into 931.4 and let's see what is the value that we could get in million electron volt so we have got the value as 128.533 million electron volt so that's the reason that we have got the two values that is the mass defect as well as the binding energy but we have to calculate the binding energy per nucleon so for that we have a formula
binding energy per nucleon is equals to the binding energy divided by the atomic mass number and for the oxygen we have the atomic mass number which has been found to be 16 and recently we have calculated the binding energy and which is found to be 128.533 so let's see what is the value we could get and let's see what is the binding energy required per nucleon so we have got the value 8.033 MeV per nucleon so this is the value that is what we have got for the binding energy per nucleon for the oxygen atom having an atomic number of 8 and atomic mass number of 16 and that's it so this is how basically we can calculate so thank you friends for watching this video i hope you have understood this video very clearly and i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe you channel thank you so much